Blake Corwin from Crescent Duck Farm and we're standing before my clear span 140 foot by 65 foot hoop building. We are a uh, duck farm, actually one of the last duck farms on Long Island and uh, we raise, harvest and transport ducks to the better markets of the Northeast. surplus straw storage that we can't fit in our buildings at any given time. You know, the thing when straw comes, it comes and it comes heavy. You know, when farmers are ready to harvest it, they need to get, get it out of the field and to the customer. We replaced a 30 by 60 concrete storage that we used to use predominantly just for straw. And then we figured, well, if we're going to do that, let's go a little bigger, a little bigger. And that's how we ended up with a 65 by 140. Well, we have the space for it. Let's just go with it, you know? And there's no, been no turning back since. As you see, we've got a pile of straw here. I'm able to work on equipment throughout the building, keep my snow plows inside covered, you know, out of the weather, and keep other odds and ends that I used to store all over the place. Now they're inside on shelves and readily available. I love the natural light in here. I mean, it's great until, well, right now about 6.30 or so when the sun starts going down, but uh, we love the natural light in here. It's 10 degrees cooler in here than it is outside on a nice hot day. The brightness isn't over, you know, overexerting. You know, like, you go outside and work on something, you got your squinting, you know, you got the wind and the dust and everything else blowing on you, bring it in here. You have perfect ambient light and uh, without the rest of the elements. The benefit I see with this building is the fact that it went up so fast and um, it, the fact that it's so economical. I mean, for the price of this building, you'd still, you know, stick buildings are twice the cost as far as I'm concerned, between labor and material and then their longevity. And, you know, ease of repair on one of these buildings, you get up there with a little bit of heat gun and another piece of tarp and you, you put them back together. Overall experience was actually quite enjoyable. I mean, we did all the concrete work, and then the Clearspan crew came in, and they got here in midday on a Tuesday, and by Thursday night, it looked like the building was almost together. And Friday, they buttoned up a couple of things, tightened it down, and uh, they were on their merry way. And we just liked the sheer size of it and the structure that went along with it.